to eat eggs or not two eggs a day or two eggs a week for diabetics right huh? that's the big question i'm dr ahmed jergen i'm an endocrinologist treating diabetes every day in or San Lucie, Florida. Among overweight and obese people, and pre-diabetics, etc., those who ate 12 eggs per week or more, we call that a high egg diet, I guess, had similar blood levels of cardiovascular disease markers as those who ate fewer than two eggs per week, and I call that a low egg diet, in that one year long study. Well, these findings suggest that it is safe for people at high risk for type 3 diabetes or people with type 3 diabetes to include eggs. It's an acceptable and a great convenient food source, right? In the daily diet regularly. Now, the results from come from this diabetes and egg study. Really, it's called Diabag. It's done by Nicholas Filler, who's a PhD from Bowdoin Institute of Obesity, Nutrition and Exercise. That's uh, University of Sydney, Australia. So they published this online in American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Now, this work isn't meant to imply that people with diabetes or any other people should not worry about their cholesterol levels, right? I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that the eggs will raise cholesterol either. It does in some people. But it just shows that high egg consumption and therefore the cholesterol that comes with those eggs did not really have an adverse impact on blood cholesterol in the study. In general, I mean, dietary cholesterol intake has pretty small impact actually on serum cholesterol levels. So most people, dietary fat quality, for example, has a much higher greater impact on the overall cholesterol levels the ideal number of eggs per week for people depends on their genetics their overall health their overall diet according to most research one egg per day should be okay for almost everyone and like in the current study even two eggs were fine and if we think about the environmental impact of food and we should think about that eggs have one of the lowest impacts on greenhouse gas emissions among animal protein sources now other control studies in people with pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes have also shown predominantly favorable effects of higher egg intakes on cardiovascular and metabolic risk factors now in this study in diabetic study 128 adults aged 18 years and older with type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes and a body mass index of at least 25, so not super skinny people. They were randomized to a healthy weight loss diet, either with high or low in eggs. Now, the diet emphasized replacing saturated fats such as butter with you know, monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats such as avocado oil, olive oil, and so forth. Now, patients were a mean age of 60, uh, and a BMI of 34. So about three quarters had type 2 diabetes and 54% were women. Now, their mean baseline HDL cholesterol was around 50 and more than half were taking cholesterol lowering medications. But for the three month run in period, patients were instructed to maintain their weight. Those in the high egg group were instructed to eat two eggs per day for breakfast whereas the low egg group were instructed to eat less than two eggs per week. And they matched the protein intake of the high egg group by consuming 10 gram of lean animal protein since they were not having their protein from the eggs, the low egg group, right? Or those people also, some of them consume legumes, etc., to make up for the protein. Now, eggs could be boiled, poached, could also be fried if polyunsaturated cooking oil is used like olive oil although i do not recommend that but in that study they did even with that they didn't have any problem right <laughs> interestingly now participants provided with eggs of course eggs are free it's a study and they were also on both groups were encouraged to increase their daily activity level now after that run in participants entered that three month active weight loss phase well during which that they met that dietitian once a month they then entered a six-month follow-up phase and they were advised to continue eating the same number of eggs. Nothing changed when it comes to eggs. Now, participants were compliant with their egg intake. Everybody loves eggs, right? Except uh, those ones who probably needed to have less eggs probably struggled a little bit, but they did. And those people who were in the low egg group consumed like just 
one egg per week, for example, compared to 10 to 12 in the other group. Now, patients in both groups lost approximately two kilogram, which is around four pounds, four or five pounds at the end of the three month active weight loss phase and another one kilogram or two pounds in the next six months. From three to 12 months, those participants in both groups had similar changes in their HDL cholesterol, which is a good cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, and the total cholesterol. Now, inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, and soluble E-selectin, or some oxidative stress markers, and glycemic markers such as glucose, A1C, adiponectin, etc., were all checked and they stayed the same. Now, bottom line, eggs are a source of protein, a great source of protein, and micronutrients that could support a range of health and dietary factors, including helping to regulate the intake of fat and carbohydrates. It helps your eyes, it helps your heart, it contributes to healthy blood vessels and healthy pregnancies even. Another takeaway message would be, is it okay to include eggs in the diet, even if you have type 2 diabetes? I would say yes. Many people enjoy eating eggs. I'm not gonna take it away. Eggs are used in many recipes and dishes, so it makes one's life easier if you didn't have to severely restrict your egg intake, right? So there you have it. You can say thank you in the comments, and please write your experience and your comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you at sugarmds.com. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.